What's up YouTubers, Blaze Beat Racing coming at you on the tube today. Thanks for tuning into my channel. And as you can see, I've got a special something to show you guys today. I spotted a killer deal on casting it. It was one of those too good to be true moments. And uh, the car is true. It's right here. And the body is in immaculate condition. Interior is mint. Uh, it was a two two car deal. He wouldn't sell the two plus two without the two plus zero. We, we came for the two plus zero and we came away with two cars. Uh, my brother do, didn't have a car at the time so we wanted him to have this one. So he gets the two plus zero. It's number 54 of 3000 special editions made. And that one's also a special edition. Uh, my brother's friend bought it. I mean if my brother and his friend hadn't been there my dad and I would have bought these for sure. Because we're not going to leave that place without one of these beauties for such a deal. Just to give me an idea, I'm not going to actually tell you the price, but we could make probably more than double what we paid for them if we sold them right now. Uh, my dad polished the hood and the roof. I detailed the interior, including took out all the panels in the back and cleaned them real nice. So yeah, it's in pretty good shape. My brother put that knob on there. It's kind of funny, but like, he's been waiting to put that knob on something, and there's just this just happened to be the car for it. At least it matches the seats, but it's kind of funny. Whatever, <laughs> whatever makes him happy. I mean, fully loaded cars, man. Five speeds, L28Es. Uh, both of them are non-turbo. And uh, just check that out. Yeah, they're really good shape. This one, uh, no rust on the body, really. A little bit of surface rust down low. As you can see, just a little bit at the very bottom. Practically nothing, really. Back of the hatch, uh, this lip here, it's extremely hard to find them without uh, rust. It's not even on the inside of the lip. None. That's unbelievable. Both of them have aftermarket exhaust. It looks pretty fresh with high flow mufflers. They are probably done at the same time because same mufflers. And uh, that one, the uh, the body's not in as good shape, but the, uh, the frame rails, they're in really good shape. Floor pans are in pretty good shape. The underside's in real good shape on this one, but definitely needs a repaint on the hood. Uh, that car definitely has had a uh, new paint job at some point, the 1980, and this one's an 83, and it probably has got repainted at some point, but the paint's in pretty rough shape right now. We got a 5-speed with the deal, I think that's out of a 1980. Um, it's a parts car there, we might pick it up, who knows, but it has lots of good parts on it, fresh engine low clicks uh, so yeah five speed interior is not too bad on this one uh, that one has two new six by nines behind the seats and uh, the underside on that one needs new frame rails floor pans uh, I'll show you the lip under the front bumper it's got some rust but we should be able to save it repaint it we're gonna store these things it still needs a wash on the side um, so what I'm thinking for decals here, I already have the whole picture in my head like I do whenever we buy any new car. I've got the whole vision of what I want it to look like. I mean, nobody will disagree. Uh, all you got to do, because my dad has a, a custom decal sheeter, we're going to black out all this all the way around with a nice gloss black decal. We'll leave this part in the middle gold because that's kind of hard to do, but that'll look really good. And we're probably going to do a bumper delete eventually on this car. If you look them up on Google Images, the 280ZX rear bumper deletes. If you do them right, they look amazing. So uh, they're probably going to add a wing eventually, a ducktail wing like what mine has. And uh, so we'll upgrade the suspension. Needs new rear struts really bad on this car. Other than that, they both run and drive really nice. Uh, this one has a minor 
hesitation. Below 2,000 sometimes comes up, but nothing really. Also, I was really surprised. Most of the 280ZXs have a lot of rust up here, but this one has none at all. Like, maybe that was done recently or something, but... Uh, it comes with the window trim, so we'll be putting that on. That'll be another thing we'll do. We're going to put tinted light covers on it. It has fog lights under there, so they're just pointed the other way. Um, we're going to get those working. So there's lots of things we're going to do. Probably put headers on it, too. So, uh, this one, I figure my brother's friend will probably keep it for a year. Uh, fix it up a bunch and sell it make some good money on it because like I said uh, we could make more than double of what we paid for these things that's how good a deal we got so uh, the grill on this one is kind of mashed and the uh, under bumper is dented but he wants to repaint the whole car I mean if I were him I'd just repaint the hood fix the rust on the hood and then also repaint down here on both sides but pretty good shape I drove both of them um, they both drive real nice, both working real good, um, and, uh, also, here's my car, I got it back, I had it at the welder, at my, the guy I like to get welding done at, um, cause I cut out a bunch of chunks underneath the car, uh, that were rusting, I dug real hard to find all, where all the rust was on this car, because I want to just restore it completely, and uh, the frame rails are good. Um, just driver's floor pan, needed a couple of patches. Um, there's a bunch of rusting underneath the battery tray. I, I cut that out, got him to do that, but here's a tip. Uh, you got to keep those metal pieces after you cut them out if you're doing this, because uh, then they got to custom make them. if. If you've already thrown them out, then it's going to take more time, cost more money. So, but yeah, you welded that in real nice. I got custom rocker panels made, fabricated, put on. Man, they did a really good job. Custom made because you can't buy them anywhere. So, before I brought this car to them, I did a battery relocation. So, I'll just show you guys what's going on here. Interior stripped. I gotta strip out the uh, the back uh, plastic fender covers because there was mice living in the car in the sound system. So I'm gonna clean all that crap out. But uh, you know, this thing's coming along real good. Look at that. I just gotta finish painting all the prime spots on this car. But he did a really good job. I'm really happy with it. And. Uh, show you the back since it was all rusty underneath where the battery tray was that's what gave me a good reason to do a battery relocation and I decided to do a professional job and I videotaped each step for you guys so there will be a video on that coming up you guys are gonna really like it, it's a 280ZX exclusive because they have the spare tire in here mine didn't come with the spare tire pretty useless when they're this old anyway but uh, yeah custom mounts it's real nice. I gotta clean out this interior. It's all dirty right now, but like, I'm just showing you guys. So, hide away. And there's the there's these little plastic screws to screw in the panels, but I don't have those with me right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it, where this is all going. This car's coming along real nice, and uh, I'll show you the guys the louvers. They also came with uh, with my brother's car. They're the really rare metal ones, high quality. I think they're original. These cost a lot of money and they're rare, but they look really good. I'll show a little picture of what they look like on the car. We need to make some uh, louver mounts for them for the back window. Uh, or buy them or something because didn't come with those but <clears throat> looks great on the car and uh, this car is my dad's 3000 GT he's rebuilding the engine on it it's got the twin cam and uh, 
this is the front wheel drive model it's not even an SL but I bought it originally but the engine was about to go when I bought it and it was one of those bummer times when like I bought it and on my way home it basically fried a piston so it's a long story I'll tell you sometime but long story short the original engine fried and then uh, gave it to my dad and he bought another engine for it a twin cam and then that one had been sitting so long all the uh, the bearings the rod bearings were cooked on it and uh, those went on it shortly after putting the engine in so now he's rebuilding that whole engine putting a performance cam in there we're doing a few other upgrades on it but yeah we're it's coming along so that'll be coming up too so I'll have more videos on my car on my brother's car on the battery relocation that'll be pretty soon and uh I'll do one more walk around on my brother's car. Number 54 of 3,000 special editions made. Can't believe the deal we got. Big plans for this car. Another good idea I have here is uh, we're going to put a couple nice big fat dots and stripes right down the side in black decals with Datsun on them. That'll look sick. So yeah, tinted uh, light covers and the uh, whole black and gold combo is going to be looking amazing. I'll probably swap out the rims eventually. We'll keep those rims just because it's special edition but lots of upgrades to do over time and uh, he'll do most of the rust repair next year he'll just do what he can for now because he's pretty short on cash so do a little walk around of the 2 plus 2 there's the tranny and uh, both of them came with the t-top covers the t-tops don't seem to really leak they've been out in the rain a little bit we need to wash this car really bad yeah doesn't have the original rims they might be but I don't know they, they don't look like special edition ones got winter tires on there so very impressed with the condition there's my Mustang uh, if you guys want to see what I have going on with that car I posted a video of all the upgrades uh, and uh, you can check that out I did a couple little pulls with it too so uh, thanks for tuning in to my channel, and uh, I'll see you around on the tube, guys. We just picked up two special edition 280 ZXs, both head out, but a killer deal. Number 54, here's Alex, 2 plus 2, package deal. This one comes with a transmission. And some good, rare louvers in the back. Yep. So, yeah, we're fully loaded, five speeds, L28s. <laughs> Take it easy with the clutch for now. How do you like the clutch? Not too shabby, eh? Alright, let's, let's rock. Dad's gonna let us pass. Okay, go ahead and on the left lane. Keep it under three, dude. The engine's cold. Keep it low RPMs on the engine's cold. <laughs> there it is. Two plus two, special edition. We're in number 54 of 3,000 made. What up? <laughs> yeah, this is so too awesome, funny. dude. This is the bomb. This is too funny.
new frame rails though, pretty bad, so. This is the side that, with the really bad frame rail. We're like rusted in half. That suspension is soaking all up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have it all fixed up by spring. It's so tough. Just got this thing. Oh. Some major vibration in the floor panel. You feel that on your feet? I don't know, man. It's worse on the passenger side, though. <laughs> yeah, you can downshift nice and smooth. Just gotta get the feel. I'm Clutch feels good though. I'm really used to these. Oh, that's their neighbors. That's our neighbors. Pass them, right? Pass them. Give it in, man. Cruise with the Z out to the lake. That's what it's all about, people. Look at that beauty. Amazing condition the body's in. Looks like it's been repainted, probably. <laughs> 